Hey guys, welcome back. So let's see about this navigation here. Uh, when I was looking, first of all, when I was looking after I finished the, the previous video, I was looking here and I think many of you have noticed that the distance between these two uh, is not equal. So that's, you know, that's not really a problem actually because we have an extra margin here of three pixels so that's what's causing um the apparent um that's what's causing the uh the difference in uh, in padding but you know for now it's gonna do just fine maybe we'll fine tune it later uh, when we finish everything and we'll just go through and polish things up but for now let's move on to the main navigation and this will be pretty straightforward. Mm, let's see, header. Mm, let's let's say top nav. Main nav. Okay, main nav it's in a nav with a class of main navigation so main navigation ul let's begin with that now each list item will be floated to the left and let's go ahead and hide the sub menus and of course let's target the very first list items. Okay. Um, let's see, main navigation. Let's add clear fix right here because the some of the elements are floated. Okay, look. Uh, Next up, the anchor tags. Okay, the color is going to be the dark color. Um, we'll do a similar, a similar um, approach to the top navigation. We'll, we'll set a height to 3ms and the line height of 3ms, like that. And we can even we can even increase this to like six M's. Although I think it's going to be just a little uh, too big, but let's work with it like this. Okay, text decoration none. Uh, font weight. Let's do bold. What else? Mm, we'll do a similar, uh, similar style with the separators, just like we did on the top navigation. Yeah. So let's see: margin right and padding right. Of one m. Padding right of one m. Okay, and let's do the hover, not the hover, sorry, the um, before. And I'm going to copy this. Okay, same deal. Pipe, position absolute, position relative here, uh, font size, top color. Okay, so what's going on here? Height, line, height, top. Okay, there we go. 
get rid of that. Get rid of the font size. Okay, we'll do font weight normal. And the color is going to be darken. Dark color by 30. Uh, lighten, sorry. The dark color by, let's say, 50%. Because I just want a very small separator. Maybe a bit more, 70%. I think 65 should do the trick. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Mm. The only problem that I have though with this is the size of the links. They are a bit too big for the navigation. So let's do something like this. Font size, let's do 13 pixels. And I kind of I kind of like that. I think it's the correct size, but also, uh, we kind of messed up our baseline grid since uh, 6Ms with 30, 13 pixel uh, uh, font size is not a multiple of 21 anymore. So let's go ahead and input those values by hand. Um, so I was using 6Ms, so times 14 will be 84. Okay, divided by 21, that's four. Mm. Let's do 63 pixels. See if that's better. Yeah, and that is. So 63 pixels is three times the line height. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Now, what about some hover states for these? Uh, the hover states, let's do something like this. Lighten, dark color by 10%. And we'll do hover, color, it's gonna be dark color. Okay, so what I'm doing is basically setting uh, a lighter color for you know the normal state of the link and then the dark color for the hover state. So I think that's that's pretty close to what I want. Maybe 25%. This is just fine tuning really. Okay. All right, that's pretty, pretty good. Now, let's see about those, um, those drop down menus. That's gonna be a bit, a bit complicated. Okay. Mm, so let's start with the top. going to comment this since I want to be able to see uh, the drop down menus while I work on them. Okay, so these are all the uh, the menus, the drop down menus, the, the level two and the level three ones. So let's start with the level twos. We'll begin with setting float none to the list items, yeah? So now they're, they are all under their parent. Level two, level two, level three, and the level three should now be hidden. So let's do that. UL, and we'll do UL again here. I'll say display none. Okay, so we, we are hiding the level three submenu. So now we have level two, two, and two. All right, perfect. Position, setting it to absolute. And 
and this list item should have position set to relative. Okay, background, we'll set it to dark color. Let's see, background. Background, we set it to dark color. Mm -hmm. Position absolute. Oh, sorry. Position absolute should be set to the uh, to the list, not the list item. Okay, there we go. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, now the list item uh, right here. White space should be no wrap, so it doesn't wrap on the on the next line. And also, we gotta remove these um, these bars right here, these separators. So let's see the easiest the easiest way to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do this. List item A before we'll do content none. Okay, so now we got rid of them. And also we gotta get rid of that padding right. Let's see, padding right, margin right. So what exactly is causing this? Mm. We also have a margin. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong place. Okay, so now all we have to do really is uh, give these items a bit of spacing on the left and on the left and right. So instead of padding right zero, I'm going to replace it with padding zero and mm, one M, something like that. Okay, now we're gonna move the whole thing. We're gonna say left minus one M. Okay, and that moves it right here so that it matches the separator. Okay, pretty good. All right. Uh, let's also do some borders for uh, for the list items. So we'll do border bottom, one pixel solid, and we're gonna lighten the dark color, which is the background color, by 5%, maybe a bit more. 10%, something like that. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Okay, now also there is, you know, one last thing that uh, you can do to make this a really nice drop down menu, and that's called uh, a persistent hover state, which means 
when we hover or when the drop down menu is opened uh, the parent menu item will be highlighted just like this just like its hover state okay so let's see how we can accomplish that okay by default let's set this to display none yes and let's uh, let's uh, show it when we hover on on the parent list item so right here we're going to do hover ul and we're going to do display block okay and it works but um, it also shows uh, the level 3 menu so let's target just the very first level menus like this yeah okay um, So let's see about that persistent hover state. The thing is, the, the CSS should look something like top menu navigation, UL, list item hover, and we'll target the A. So we'll do this, hover UL, color equals red oh no what am I talking about color red just colors the siblings of the list hmm So let's see, list item hover. So A will hover. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think this is correct. So let's see, list item. When we hover the list item, we'll target the first level anchor tags. Okay. So, yep, there we go. Car white. So now when the drop down menu is open, uh, the parent list is also highlighted. Okay, pretty good. Now let's see about this level three navigation. Mm -hmm. Let's see, UL display none. Okay, let's also make it position absolute okay this will be position relative and we'll say left a hundred percent and that means it's gonna open up on the right side okay now let's do top zero so now it shows on um, on the same level as its parent all right pretty good pretty good